Hello everybody. Today I'm here to talk about one of the most important opportunities that's available to all those of you who are in the biotech space. And that opportunity is available right here at Biotechnica. And this opportunity is nothing but the advanced internship on bioinformatics and drug discovery. And that is available here right here at Biotechnica. Well, isn't that exciting? Well, yes. Come, let's see what is there inside as well. I'm Dr. Vaishali, Academic Specialist at Biotechnica. Okay, first, what is the agenda that we are going to see in for this internship today? So first is what is bioinformatics and what is drug discovery and why this internship is important to all of you? Third, who all will get benefited out of this internship? Fourth, we're going to look at the course module that is available for this internship. Next, we are also going to meet your mentor. Next, we are also going to see the most important question that would be on all of your minds. That is, when is it going to start? Well, the first one is about what bioinformatics is, what is drug discovery and how is it going to help, how is bioinformatics going to help drug discovery, right? So bioinformatics is nothing but a culmination of biological science, of computer science as well of, as, well as of statistics, right? So you all know about it. Now what is drug discovery and development? Well, let's see what it is. First is Say for example, there is a disease that you've identified, right? Now, how will you get the drug for this particular disease? Now, that is what is a drug discovery and development. So first you identify the disease and then you go for isolating the protein that is involved in this disease. Once that protein is isolated, then you go for finding a, a drug that is effective against this particular disease protein. Now, once that is done, then that uh, particular chemical moiety is taken ahead for preclinical studies, that is animal model testing. Now, once you get approval of these animal model testing, you get positive results, then you go ahead and do your scale up. Now, once the scale up as in you take it to the next level of production. Now, once you get the next level of production, then we'll go for something called formulation where the end drug is being formulated. Now, once this drug is ready, then it goes for filing in IND. Now, what is IND? IND is nothing but investigational new drug. So once this new drug has been filed, then it goes for human clinical trials. So till here, humans were not involved, but this is the first step where the drug goes for human clinical trials. And once you get positive results there as well, and once everything goes right, it's then filed in NDA, that is new drug application, which then goes forward for FDA approval, and of course, into the market. So this is the whole process of how a drug discovery and development happens. Now, where is bioinformatics going to play a role in this? Well, it's almost half of the work can be done with bioinformatics itself. That is right from identifying the disease till preclinical studies, bioinformatics can be used. Now let's see what how bioinformatics is going to help in drug discovery, right? So the first is about identifying the protein. Now, what is going to how are you going to help in identifying the protein? So genomics and proteomics. So these terms. So these studies are what is going to help in identifying the disease causing protein. So there are a lot of databases available in uh, because of bioinformatics where the protein structure and the sequence and everything is available. So that that definitely helps in identifying the protein. Second, 3D visualization of these proteins. So these uh, many of these proteins may have 3D structures already uh, available in the database or even if it is not available, bioinformatics will help us in predicting these structures. So that is what we mean by 3D visualization. Third is, so this is uh, more of the protein of the disease. Next, we come to her 
high throughput screening that involves the drug right so we are basically going to discover the drug so this chemical moiety is what is going to be screened from thousands and millions of uh, uh, of chemicals that's available in the database. From that, we are going to see what could be the most suitable drug for this particular protein, right? So that is high throughput screening at, and it involves a lot of tools and techniques, bioinformatic tools and techniques involved. Then the next that, uh, comes across is something called molecular modeling. So in this molecular modeling, what happens is you'll be checking the activity of the drug. Activity of the drug in that protein. So what are the steps that's involved in this? Steps like docking, molecular docking and molecular simulation. So these are the steps that will be involved in molecular modeling uh, to see the activity of our drug with the identified protein, right? The next step uh, which involves bioinformatics and drug discovery is the in silico ADME models. Now, what is ADME? ADME is absorption distribution, metabolism and excretion. So these models are nothing but going to replace your preclinical studies or it's going to be a precursor to your preclinical studies. That is before even you go to your animal model testing, right? You can do the testing in silico itself using these ADME models. And that is also where bioinformatics is going to play a major role. Now, the next topic that we are going to see today is why is this internship important for you, right? So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the industries. So in industries, bioinformatics is really valued. This is an upcoming field. It's very recently come up, especially after the Human Genome Project. After that, bioinformatics has really picked up. So in, in industries, it is a really booming field. So yes, it's most widely used in industries. Second, when it comes to research as well. So bioinformatics is something that is a transdisciplinary research within, which involves both bio as well as computer science. So it's a transdisciplinary region. So it is something that is very valuable in the research community as well. Not just that, it's not just transdisciplinary, it's also applicable in variety of researchers. No matter whether you're going, you're doing a molecular research study or a biochemistry study or a cell bio study or anything uh, for that matter, you can definitely uh, also involve bioinformatics in all of these studies and that is the importance of bioinformatics in your uh, research work especially if you're in the life science research. Next, the ease of learning and applying it, right? So these, so you could think like you are from pure biology background, then how are you going to, you know, uh, learn these uh, computational work and then apply it? Well, it's going to be easy. It's not as hard as you think because these, these tools and techniques are very easy to grasp and to apply in your research as well. Even if you are from the computer science background, you can always uh, study a little bit of biology that is necessary for your research and then you can use your uh, you know computer knowledge in improving your bioinformatic research so that is about easy to learn and apply the next thing i'm talk going i going to talk about is the uncertainty right so uh, so this is uh, from my personal experience. So uh, when I was doing my PhD, COVID hit, right? And uh, I was at home. So I could not go to lab and continue my biotech research. So what I did was I converted few of my objectives into bioinformatics. And that is how crucial it was, how crucial bioinformatics really helped me, right? So during uncertain times as well, you can use bioinformatics in your research. The next is about the career opportunities, right? So where is this bioinformatics and drug discovery going to be used? Well, simple. The first is biopharmaceutical. The first is biopharmaceutical industries where they, so these biopharmaceutical industries, they uh, heavily uh, invest upon their R&D work. So definitely, if you have uh, 
you know the knowledge about the d drug discovery and bioinformatics then you are definitely valued there and you can grow in your career as well the second is the associated industries that is pharma pharmaceutical associated industries as well be it enzyme production or chemical industries that's associated with these uh, biopharmaceutical industries so all of these industries also need people who have or who are experts in this particular region next is of course in research that is if you are a scientist who is working in this field then these tools and techniques are definitely going to be super helpful for you now who will get benefited from this internship that is the next question we are going to address right so whether you are so the simple answer to this question is anybody who is in the bio science field so whether you are a current student who is doing your say bsc or msc btech mtech b pharma m pharma any of the life science or uh, computer science uh, courses that you are doing yes for any of current students second any pass out student say if you are a pass out student who is searching for a job or who is going to give who is aspiring for competitive exams or if you are even uh, aspiring to get a job through the competitive exams or even for your higher studies so those students as well can apply can you know get into this internship and it's going to be super helpful third is for faculties and professors as well so if you want to update your knowledge if you want to get to know about this particular field then yes it's open for you as well then researchers from other field like just uh, like how we talked about right that if you are a computer science student or your computer science researcher as well this particular internship is going to be super helpful for you because you will learn about the Uh, other applications uh, of your computer science that is in the biology perspective next for researchers from the same field if definitely so if you are a life science researcher then you should have knowledge about bioinformatics and drug discovery because it's a cutting edge research that's going on these days the next topic that we are going to talk about is the course module now we have seen okay what is the importance of this particular internship you also know for whom all it is applicable but what am i going to learn in this internship well this is the next question we are going to address so this is the course module in the next two slides we are going to see so the first that you will be seeing is of course the introduction and the career opportunities that's available for you in this particular field second the development of hypothesis that is how can you dev how can you see a problem and develop a hypothesis around which your research is going to work next is about the databases and the retrieval of targets so what are the target proteins that uh, is is are available and how can you retrieve all of these uh, proteins from the databases that's available next is about sequence analysis so sequence of proteins how are you going to analyze them and how are you going to use them in your drug discovery process the next is the drug design in itself now what are the chemical chemicals that's available uh, which you can uh, you know work upon and use it as a as a target and design the drug as well if you have to make changes in that drug as well what are the tools and techniques that can be used the next uh, module is the drug discovery pipeline like so you'll be seeing the pipeline in detail we just saw a very small uh, pipeline there we did not go in detail but definitely in this internship you're going to see the drug discovery pipeline in detail about what tools what techniques what are the advantages all of that is going to be taught in this particular internship next the chemical moiety of of course the drug is what you'll be studying and the representations of molecular structures whether it's 2d or 3d structures of the proteins you will be seeing you know what are the tools and techniques that's used for these representations then you will also be reading about the admet properties that is we just saw how important the ADME uh, models are especially for preclinical and clinical trials so this is another um, you know topic that Uh, you will be learning from this particular internship the next is the molecular docking and 
the molecular docking and analysis. So we just saw what docking was, right? Docking is nothing but uh, docking your drug to the uh, to the protein and seeing the activity there. So that also involves um, in bioinformatic and in silico work and you're going to see in detail what this docking is and how you can uh, dock as well. Next, pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics. This is nothing but your drug properties in the body. Next, the network, medicine and personalization. So personalization of medicine is something that is picking up these days. So how uh, personalized medicines is being used uh, in the med medical field these days. So that is what you're going to learn about. The last point in your course module is going to be molecular sim stimulation and drug target validation. So this is what your course module is going to look like. And this is a very exhaustive module definitely for itself. And it's not just going to help any fresher in this particular topic, but also the people who are already doing research in this topic, because this is an advanced internship. It's going to cover right from your basics to your advanced level. So next, what we are going to do is we are going to meet your mentor. Your mentor is none other than Dr. Farhan Zamir. So Dr. Farhan Zamir is an adjunct professor and academic expert at Biotechnica. He is also an associate professor and the chief scientific officer at Alva's Ayurvedic Medical College. He has 12 years of teaching experience as well as 16 years of experience in research. He has completed his postdoctoral studies studies at University of South Carolina, USA. He has also finished the PhD from the University of Mysore in biochemistry with ICMR BMBF fellowship. He is also a gold medalist in his master's and a bronze medalist in his bachelor's. So yes, you are in the right hands. He is the person who is going to be an expert in this field and he's going to teach all that he knows. He is going to transfer his skills and his knowledge to all of you. The next we're going to see is when is it going to start? The most awaited question, right? Well, it's going to be pretty soon. That is on the 25th of November, 2022. And it's going to be a one hour session per day. It's going to be from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. in the evening. This uh, is kept in mind uh, because of, uh, you know, to also cater to all those of you who are also working professional as well as students. So to cater for all of you as well, this particular timing is kept in mind. And it's going to be a weekday only only internship, right? So yes, it's going to be only on the weekday. And if you want to know more information about this particular internship, please feel free to call this toll free number that is there on your screen. Or you can also see the description box below where all the links about this particular internship is given. Or you can also comment in the comment section below if you want to know more details about this internship, we'll be happy to reply and give you that particular information. Now, this is an internship that has a very limited seats that's available. If you are somebody who wants to increase your skill sets and who wants to grow in your career, then this internship is definitely for you. So what you're waiting for, go ahead and register. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you all till next video.